Mad Magazine presents Gall and the Family Fair. Hi there, and welcome to the middle American home of TV's first and foremost foul mouth for the image, Storchy Bunker Hill, and me, his incredibly stupid wife, Dingaling. Each week, we bring you another episode in our lives filled with hilarious controversy and uproarious vulgarity. Oh, our special guest shock word for this week is faggot. And now, before Starchy gets home and starts his usual tirades against everyone regardless of race, creed, or national origin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born of Spanish parents and I... Hey, you dumb spick! Can you hear me ringing at doorbell? And here he is, folks. America's beloved bigot. <sighs> what a day. I punched a Dago, I belted a coon, and kicked a mick. See, Starch, it all evens up. Yesterday you complained you had a beer day. I'll get the phone. Hey, listen to me, you teddy rotten heeb. I had it with you pushy Jews. You ain't seen one kike, you've seen them all. Starchy? Who's that on the phone? My father. Boy, I hate all kinds of Jews. Orthodox, reformed... But Starchy, your father is Protestant. They're the worst kind. Isn't he simply adorable, folks? See why America loves him so much? Well, well. Here come the two dummies who live with us. Hi there, folks. I'm Starchy's moronic daughter, Gloriosa. And I'm her nebbish husband, Meek. We've got a special function on the show. While conservatives in the audience identify with him, the liberals can identify with us. Now you know why liberalism is dying. Well, what's new, you stupid Polak? Starchy, m must you say that? Why not? I always say it. And then you call me a reactionary pig. And then I yell at you and you yell at me. Look, I work hard all day. Ain't I entitled to a little pleasure? I'm expecting a visit from an old World War II buddy of mine. Well, he's the dearest friend I ever had. Uh, let me know when my buddy gets here. You what? Jig? Sheeny? Queer? Cummy? Belly button? What's he doing in there, Mother? Just rehearsing his lines for next week's show. I don't care what starch he says, Gloriaski. It's just too much for a television audience to believe that anybody could be such a vulgar reactionary bigot. There's one thing that's even harder to believe. What's that? That two normal young people like us could be stupid enough to live with such a vulgar reactionary bigot. Hey, Pollock! I heard what you said. You better watch who you're calling names. There ain't nothing wrong with me. I just don't trust Jews. I like to put blacks in their place, and I don't feel comfortable with homes. Starchy, as a liberal, I'm really worried. You don't have to worry about me. Who's worrying about you? I'm worried about me. Deep down, I agree with you. Of course you do. Most Americans agree with me. They ain't laughing at me. They're laughing with me. That's why the show is such a hit. I'm so popular, I may run for president. Or better still, vice president. There's the doorbell, Starchy. I'll get it. Starchy, it's your old war buddy. My buddy. My old World War II buddy. Oh, it's going to be great seeing him again. The only man who ever really understood me. Oh, my God. It's Adolf Hitler. Dolph, baby, where the hell have you been all these years? I've been alive and well and living in Argentina. <laughs> you know, just like the old joke. <laughs> Speaking of old jokes, I'd like you to meet my wife, Tingling. Starchy, that man is your old buddy? Do you know who he is? Do you know what he's done? Do you know what kind of a reputation he has? How could you ever have been associated with him? Oh, he ain't a bad guy for a pinko. There's the doorbell again. I'll get it. Starchy, these two men want to see your buddy. Oh, oh, the cheek is up. Oh, after all these years, I knew they would finally get me. Well, my old friend, I guess this is it. Gentlemen, under the Articles of War, I am only required to give my name, Adolf Hitler, my rank, professional mischief maker, <laughs> and my serial number, which is one. I am now ready 
to face the War Crimes Commission. Well, we're not the War Crimes Commission, Dolph, baby. We're here from the TV network, and we're here to offer you your own weekly TV series. If a show with this hero is a hit, yours will be a smash. Uh, first, we'll get you an adorable TV family. Yeah, like a dumb wife, two moronic children, and a pet wolf. Well, what do you think, Dolph, baby? Today, television. Tomorrow, Savelle. I've got a great title. Love Gestapo style. Oh, uh, no, no, wait, I've got a better one. Uh, Hun Smoke? Um, Fuhrer knows best. Uh, how about Dolph and the Family? The preceding program was recorded before a live laugh track machine. It threw up.